This is Blender Challenge Home Improvement Part 2 and I'm going to start modeling in this video and my idea for this is some kind of a cryogenic pod like the hibernation pod from the movie Passengers that a person would sleep in so these are like commercial items that you would sleep in and you can buy these add-ons which are either disc-like things or cylinder-like things like a gas cylinder that you can attach to the pod and provides some kind of benefit to your health so it could be like uh, vaporized minerals or vitamins uh, some immunological chemical something that's good for your skin something that just smells nice or helps you have nice dreams this kind of thing so in this video i'm going to start to model the sleeping pod and i'm thinking of a slogan for it something like pod perfect like have a pod perfect sleep and uh yeah we'll see how we'll see how it goes all right so this is for blender challenge home improvement where you create uh, an object that uh, has uh, an improved function over that you, what you would normally find in the home all right so i don't know how well i've explained that but I am pressing 1 to look from the front orthographic view, and we're going to start uh, designing this. So it's going to be sort of a sci-fi type thing. So I'm going to bring in a UV sphere, and I'm going to go for 16 and 16 vertices. Go into edit mode, and I'm going to rotate Y 90 degrees. Go into wireframe, and box select all of the bottom here, and get rid of those and box select here and get rid of those so i'm left with just this go back into solid view and i'm going to take this edge and extrude it out a little bit like that and I take this bottom edge and extrude it down a little bit like that so i'm just away from the basic uv sphere and i've added a little bit to that all right like that okay so i'm going to take this move it back sort of away from this the Z axis there and I'm going to take this shifty to duplicate just pull it down there and rotate Z 180 degrees and this piece here is going to be a little bit longer like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these and then I'll get the, the size that I want I'm going to select this edge and this edge and the same two edges on this one and control E bridge edge loops come around to the other side those two and those two right there and bridge edge loops all right so this is the basic shape that i'm going to go for so now i'm going to come in here and i will i think i'll take this i'm going to pull that out a little bit longer i'm going to grab here so i want sort of where your waist and legs would go down here more cover and we just have a little sort of part where you look through there something like that um, maybe a little bit more room here and we adjust adjust that distance in a bit okay so that's the overall pod shaped thing that you would sleep in you know we've all seen these in movies like aliens or uh, or passengers or whatever uh, I'm just trying to create one that you would have in your home all right so now what i want to do is i want to arch this back on the top one here where your head would go so i'm going to go into vertex selection select this vertex and that one shift s cursor selected i'm going to bring my cursor there then i'm going to select this and hold down control and select that so i get these vertices and i'm going to switch over to 3d cursor one and now i've got my 3d cursor there as a pivot and i've selected those and i'm going to scroll down here to this eraser like brush which is the shear tool click it and then just drag here and I'm gonna pull those back like that so we get just a bit more of a different shape I'm also going to come in here I'm going to look from the top top seven is the top select this vertex I'm going to come back by the way into median point and that and select that central vertex this one and this one I'm going to pull this forward a little bit and I may pull this one a little bit as well. We'll put on a subdivision. Let's go control two and see how that looks as our pod shape. We're not quite done though, so I'm gonna hide that. 
and I'm going to I think right now I'll go ahead and give this some thickness and I can still change the size of this because I think I need to do that so with that all selected I'm gonna press E and Alt S and I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna pull it down and give it some thickness like that now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to control R and drag an edge loop near the top and down near the bottom and then we'll put the subdivision back on and we'll see how it looks okay looking from the front I'm going to come in and I'm going to control R to drop an edge loop right there and I'll do one on the other side as well and shift alt to click that and then I'll pull them both towards the front so I have a gentle curve here but it's not too extreme I'm going to do the same at the back so drop an edge loop wherever it lands grab both of them and pull them back and we'll have this okay so far so good and uh, I just want to look at this I think I actually am going to pull it back more and we're going to do something like that all right okay next we're going to do I guess the glass that would be inside it to do that I'm going to select uh, one of these rings here actually I think I'll take this one here and we'll just cut it shift G to duplicate pull it into there P to break it out let's take that let's turn off that and let's just uh, go into edit mode and I'm going to delete the bottom edge here to break it and now I can just select that and I will just uh, delete those edges I just want this part here and I don't need it that long um, I probably could use just to this vertex here and extend it down a bit so I'm gonna get rid of those two and I guess I got that one already and those two vertices so I have this but I think well we're probably gonna have to move it down anyhow to get it in so let's uh, let's just start extruding it out like this like a cylinder I'll do that and then I'm just gonna push it down in let's see what how what kind of a fit we get and I think I'm going to have to scale it in the Y just a little bit and pull it up I'm going to shade smooth now that I have to just recalculate outside and I'm going to take this end here uh, I'm going to be doing two pieces so I'm just going to take it here and I think that's probably going to be okay I could put on a subdivision of ones to make it a little nicer and slide an edge down here and just seem a little smoother and so I think I'll do that something like that so I want to have a piece here and a piece here and the, and the top piece is going to going to uh, rotate up like that so uh, we'll come back to that in a minute let's do something else while I'm here let's come in and shift alt and click and grab this whole ring there that goes all the way around shift D to duplicate pull that down P to break it out and this is assuming I mean I can change the size of this but sort of assuming this is the size that I want um, so I've got that let's go into edit mode and just have a look at it there's some extra vertices I don't need I don't I'm going to dissolve those uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to extrude down and I think I'll scale it out like that but it won't go out evenly so I'm going to scale it in the Y and we'll have a region that's like that I think uh, I might make some changes but I'm going to select that edge now and extrude down so I get this shape okay now I could let's turn that off for now let's also take this and uh, recalculate outside in case we need to let's take this and bevel control B there's two three edges let's take this and E and S and come in and get a sense for how actually let's just focus on that uh, so yeah I'm going to you see the way it's scaled more in the X than in the Y I'm going to scale it in the Y and just even up those uh, those sides a little bit something like that and let's uh, extrude it down now and we can shade smooth and put that back on and what I'll do is I'll drag an edge loop up here and here and over here 
just tighten this whole thing up like that. Okay, slash key. And I'm going to turn on the cavity shader. And let's take this and pull it up as if it the thing rests on there. I probably want more of a flat surface here, but I'll come back to that in a bit. So that's like the stand of the thing. Let's take everything and move it above the X. Like this. I'm going to pull these back. Get a bit more of that shape. All right, so I want to split this now before I go much further. I'm just going to drop an edge loop, drop an edge loop, select them both, pull it, and I think to about there would be an okay place to split it. So with those edge loops in there to define it, I'm going to wireframe three for face selection, box select this P separate by selection. That's really all I had to do. And I'll line this up in a bit. I just, I want to work on this bottom a little bit more. So I'm going to select both of them. It's nice that you can edit both at the same time. Come in here and uh, let's just grab this stuff in vertex. And just pull it back a little bit more as we continue to tweak this. Okay, yeah, so let's see. Um, yeah, all right, so that goes there. All right, I'm going to probably use another one of these sort of full rings. I'm going to shift D to duplicate and pull it over to here, P to break it out. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just slash key, it's easier. Come in here, get rid of uh, this one and this one. And the, uh, yeah, we'll just do those two first. Get rid of those edges and then shift off and click that and get rid of those edges. So I'm left with this. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to E to extrude, pull it out like that. And let's see. I do want it to go past here a little bit. I'm actually going to Alt S. I'm going to pull, I guess. Yeah, okay, something like that. That's probably good enough. I might have to widen it a bit, we'll see. For the moment, I'm gonna E and Alt S, and okay, so before I do that, I need to take it and recalculate outside, I believe. E and Alt S, that, that worked. And pull this in until it goes inside here, so it looks like it's supposed to fit. And I think I'm going to Shift Alt and click. Uh, let's take it. And I'm going to get rid of, for the moment, the bottom face. And then I can shift alt and just click the top face. And I'm going to try with an alt S and pull it out a little bit more like that. And I'll flatten these out in a second. I'm just creating that thing that's going to hold. In fact, let me just see if it looks better if I pull it down and it seems a bit more even. Well, I just did it anyhow. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come in here. Uh, what I want to do, I want to look at this here. Let's look on an end type thing. Hmm, let me just think for a second. Um, before I go any further, maybe I will grab all of these edges, bevel them with three shade smooth and put that subdivision on and then I'll just look at what I need to do. I'm going to scale this in the Y a little bit. Actually maybe I am going to come back up. Just needs to be able to cut through there and that piece is going to be cut out anyhow. So if I do that, how about we come and have another look at this. Um, if I scale this in the Y just so to the point where this hits a sort of a flat surface. And then I scale it sort of equally in the X, like that. And that seems to touch reasonably. And if I want to extend that part in, I can. So I won't worry about it right this second. So let me have a look at this. I think what I need to do is I want to close this up I have to make a face and then bevel 
because that piece is going to move up with uh, with the rest of this. So the glass is there, the glass is under. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll just slide an edge loop down here just to. All right, cool. So this glass piece is also going to be under here and there will be another one of these i'm just going to do it this way shifty and it's kind of going to be like around there so or so and so i'll take this edge and this edge and i'll slide it under that one and we'll have that and this piece like i say will be able to come up all right i'm thinking now that i'm going to take all of this and I'm going to control plus uh, just that once. And I'm going to scale in the Y a little bit. And scale in the X a little bit. Okay, and then uh, we can have a look at this. Um, let's see. What's this? I think what I will have to do is uh, scale in the Y. I think it'll come in like this, past there. And I'll, I'll scale in the X as well, so it seems kind of even. And we'll do the sleeping section in a bit. Um, so I'm gonna put some stuff on here, but first I was thinking um, if I can take this edge here, let's see if I got it. Yeah, okay, like that. I'll take that. Okay, let's break that out. And um, maybe get rid of a few of these vertices here. And then take this and just extrude it out a little bit. It's a little simpler design. Bring that in here. Scale it a bit so you start to see it. Just let me bring that up. Give you an idea of what I'm thinking of. Like some kind of a hinge, but I'm not sure yet how how it would work <laughs> so uh, just for the moment it's it's just like a design thing um hmm okay i better uh so there it is something i'm gonna scale it down now globally kind of like that but it's uh, okay let's scale it up uh let's take this and just recalculate outside and let's go e and alt s and push it let me get this and then I'll just drag some edge loops. Won't get rid of any back faces yet until I sort of know what I'm doing. And that I do not yet. Um, uh, okay, kind of want it less. I don't want it coming down as far. And so I'm gonna buck in the wireframe. I'm gonna do that. Shade smooth that. Oh, by the way, we better have a look here, eh? Let's select it all. Alt and recalculate outside. That's good. And let's not forget to save once in a while. And um, come back to this in a bit. Let's just do something simple on the side. Something that could be changed if I want to, because there certainly could be some tweaks and some details down the road uh, a circle that's um i'll use 22. i'll make a face rotate x 90 and we'll get this on the right angle in a bit and i'm just thinking of along here two two circles and i'm not sure what they are yet they may be nothing they may be um speakers uh, i don't know yet so right now i'm just going to do a design that looks like this really simple i'll i'll add it inset because it'll help with the shading and i'm just going to bevel these two edges and i'm going to do my best to attach now i may rebuild this so this might be a bit of a block out kind of a thing uh, i'm going to scale that in the y though just make it a bit more prominent and rotate it You know, like that. Um, I wanted to two there, and I'll do two on the other side. 
so um, I'm going to let's look at let's select all this and bring the 3d cursor there as my central point and I'll set the origin to the 3d cursor and mirror these in the Y so they're on the other side I'll join everything in a minute and even if I join it and I decide to change it that's uh, that's okay uh, there would be something else here um, I don't know if that's straight I wanted to use that piece there P to break it out I'm going to get rid of the subdivision and I'm going to scale this it's like a it's big cube for the moment I'm going to do that I'm going to get rid of the back face let's put it on here let's, let's take this face here pull it out um, I'm going to hide the glass I just want to see if it's going through and uh, yeah this this is a a work in progress for sure I don't want it angled. Just pull that back in. Put something on there. Let's take that, set the origin to the 3D cursor, and mirror it in Y. And um, I'll apply it. And uh, yeah, actually, right now we'll, uh, we'll do something. do that push that on there okay so I applied that didn't I all right let's set the origin to the 3d cursor for that thing as well and mirror that in the Y Set the origin to the oh, I gotta select that for oh, not no, don't duplicate it. Put my cursor there and yeah, let's do that. And then I got that. Uh, okay, just I am going to uh, join that and I'm going to join that uh, to this for now with that subdivision on there still. That's okay. So we're just getting a few things going here. So I've got that. So what I'm going to do is this got a subdivision of two, and so does that. I'm going to join those two things together, and that is to I'm going to join that actually as well, and I'm going to take those and I'm going to apply that mirror, and I'm going to join those even as well, and I will merge by distance if need be. Double check my space. Ah. That stuff, Alt N, recalculate outside. So I very well may break things apart in the future. Uh, this is, I'm going to join uh, those things. I'm not joining the glass, am I? The glass is a subdivision of one, and uh, I, I think I'm okay if I don't. Plus, I want to do something in a minute. Um, and what I do want to do is I want to focus on this for the moment. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select. The, at there um, <clears throat> how do I want to do this 
Well, for the moment, I'm going to shift D to duplicate, pull it up, P to break it out. And uh, let's just hide that. Let's just come in here. I just want to have a look at this. Get rid of the subdivision. I think I'm going to take uh, extra vertices I don't need. And you know what? I could use those depending on what I want to do. I'll show you what I was thinking of doing. Oh, I got an extra one in there. Let's take uh, those. Move them down to wherever. And maybe take this one and this one to slide it down. Okay, what I, what I just want is I want these edges. And let's go back to one. And uh, I'm going to uh, E and SY. Pull them in like this. And then I'm going to SX, do that. But I think we need it a little bit longer. Pull it down like that. There's a couple of things that we could do. I could get rid of that edge and I would have this shape now. Or I could just keep those and I just have those shapes. I kind of want to uh, duplicate them, pull them up. I'll take these in. I still think they're too small. Well, we'll see. I'm going to extrude them. You know what? I'm going to extrude them down so I can delete the bottom face. Uh, the bottom faces. And I'm going to... Let's hide... The, well, if I go Alt-H... Um, What's this? I just want to get rid of that slash key. Alt H, where is everybody? There, there's everybody. There's that thing there. I'm just going to hide that. Uh, here's what I was thinking that these are inside. And there's going to be a uh, some uh, pillow type things in a minute. But if I move these and sort of embed them in the wall, I could have like some buttons on them. They probably don't have to be that, quite that thick. Um, I'm just going to scale Y. That's actually just going to push them into the wall for a second. Then I, get, I could get rid of the back and uh, bevel these and stuff. So just before I do that, um, let's come back. Let's see. Do I have still have that? I still have this thing, right? I could use this. Okay. So let's go back to this. I think. I'm okay. Uh, let's get rid of those faces and let's join those. Have to make a face. Have to make a face. Let's get rid of, uh, let's dissolve those vertices and let's take this and have to make a face. And I kept these vertices so that I can J, J to join. This is a big, weird end gone. And what I was thinking of just for now, for like cushion type stuff, is I could do this, I could take that, and with that edge through there, I could control B, I can put an edge loop, and I can roll this up to make, I just don't want to hit the other vertices, see that? And I could sort of make pills, but I don't think I want them. Yeah, I do want them like that. Okay, I'm gonna extrude downwards and scale it out a little bit. X faces, get rid of that. And then uh, take these. I'm not saying this is exactly how I would do it, but it might might work out. I'll just split them, E and Alt-H, Alt-S, sorry. Pull it in like that. And then in wireframe, just box select the bottom X faces. So I've selected the edges going around and Control b to bevel. Pull, give myself a nice big bevel and roll it up a little bit. And I can Control one I can put one subdivision on there. Guess we already got it. And uh, we sort of have some cushions. So if I take these and just bring them in, uh, let's actually hide that as well and bring those down. I kind of want them to stick up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to move the other stuff, just hide the glass. All right, I'm gonna have to move those other thing the jigs. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so these would then come up. I'll, I'll actually have to move them out of the way of the bars too. So I can slide them down or up. I don't know. I'll put them, put them there for now. 
All right, so let's think about these. Let's slash key. Let's get rid of the back. Faces, okay. And let's bevel these edges on both of them. And that's three. I'm gonna do five on these. And I can probably just get away with bevel beveling the top. In fact, I might, yeah, I got rid of the bottom. What am I saying? Five is probably overkill. You know. I got that. Let's just see how it's starting to look. Don't worry about shading. They actually maybe are a bit big. If I just scale them in the X a little bit, won't worry about shading right now. Okay. Okay, and on those, and I can do other types as well. On those, let's just select one. Shift desk cursor selected. Oh, and by the way, what does it look like with uh, one subdivision? Do I need it? I might. I might be using it. We'll see. Um, it's really not a low poly thing. Some kind of button. I'm gonna stay like that. So for now, I'm just gonna do some quick things. Buttons or knobs, uh, so, and I may keep them. They may be just fine, or I might change this so just to get an idea of how it looks, and possibly to, you know to keep as a final thing okay so this one will be like a knob okay an F and now bevel this thing with uh, three three uh, and it is you know it's, it is kind of high poly for just a knob but I'm not going for a low poly thing maybe I'll do that in the future I'm just going to bring that in and give it a little bit of a post so it can just sit off the ground a little bit. And when I say ground, I mean, you know, that little armrest thing or button pad. It's like that. Um, I may then decide to just use a couple of these uh, and then do a different style of button. And so just, just maybe uh, take these shift D to duplicate pull them out uh, I'm gonna do it like that and then scale them in the Z and just make like a button it's just F to make a face okay and just have a couple of these Um, all right, just some placement, and uh, let's do another one here, but make it smaller. God, you have a lot of knobs to play with in your little pod. You know, I could put a speaker there instead if I want to. Um, I don't know what I want to do yet, as you can tell. All right, let's say that's good enough. So I'm going to take these and join them. And uh, I'm going to join it to there, but I'll, I'll get rid of this one on this side. Control L, X, uh, vertices, faces, doesn't really matter. And uh, I'll use this uh, Shift S, cursor to selected. Take this, set the origin to the 3D cursor, and we'll add a mirror uh, in the Y. We get it on the other side. Every time I say that, I think of Hello from the Other Side, that Adele song. Let me get rid of that. Um, I don't have to apply that yet. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's... Let me show you where we are at so far with what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to switch to, not that. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna switch over to matte cap, turn this to object. And just before I do anything, let's double check that. I should really actually double check that, you see? That's what I meant there, okay. 
Uh, I'll do it for now. Uh, I'm going to, I'm a, yeah, I've got, I'm on object. I'm going to switch this actually to the shiny one. And I'm going to select this and I'm going to come over here and viewport display. And just for now, I'm going to change this to a, like, kind of like that color. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to have that on various pieces just to start getting some color in there and seeing what, you know, we're kind of getting and give us some texturing ideas. Uh, let's hide that for the moment. And this I'm going to do, uh, I just want to do like a blue kind of thing like that. Alt H, bring this back. We'll do this in like a, uh, like a green, but we're going to drop the alpha down so you can see through it. I don't want it that, that much. Um, I'm going to rotate this in just a moment. I'll, I'll leave the buttons like that for now. Um, so I need to break the glass apart. Uh, so I'm going to need to break it out. So I've got the two glasses. And to rotate it, I think just for the moment, as I always say, uh, where am I? Three. Uh, I'll just select sort of like, um, you know, just like there as my pivot. It's pretty close. And I'm gonna select this and the glass and turn to my 3D cursor and just our, let's pull this up. Get a sense of what it's like in there. You know, now I can extend this out and I can do little details, whether it's little wires or pipes or speakers or buttons in there. And I'm, you know, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, we're just blocking it out for the time being. Uh, it's possible that I want these up here, but then, you know, the backs are showing, so we'll have to think of that. But that's the idea. I'm not sure how that pivots like that. I might do some kind of piston arms there, or I might just leave it and say it's, it's the hydraulic force of uh, electromagnetism. That doesn't make any sense, but, uh, you know, uh, but that's the general idea. Uh, I have yet to decide how the nutrients, the vitamins, the 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 spray uh, uh, cans with products for the Pod Perfect device are going to attach. Uh, I have one idea so far, and I'll just quickly show you that, and then we'll wrap this up. And I'm not saying for sure that this is what I'm going to do, but this is one idea. Um, I'm going to select that. I believe that's central. And just real quick, I'm going to build something. Um, maybe even 18 vertices. And we'll see what I come up with for this. Okay, so same kind of thing. So did I move it? No. Just move that up. E and S come in. Okay, problems. What's going on? All right, what do we, what do we got going on here? Okay, let's do that again. Ah, yeah, that'll help. Okay, do that. Come up. So this is going to be like a a, a valve entrance. I, I'm sure you don't call it that. Uh, I'm going to shift alt to click there and do check or deselect. And then uh, E and S, I guess. That's okay. Maybe we'll go into individual origins and in S. Okay, that's fine. And then grab this top edge in all of these. Just remind me to go back into median point. Uh, it's a little hard to see. Let's go back to here. Hopefully I got all those. Just want to push those down like that. Yeah, I am. Like, I'll go back and look at Tony Stark from Iron Man. And I'll look at the some of the designs. I'm getting that kind of feeling. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a bevel to this. Just to throw in a bunch of edges. And I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to do a control one. And hopefully get something that I want. Um, I might actually have to go up. Yeah, that's what I want, right? Just like that. Maybe, maybe there's more designs on it. Okay, so just we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna want to get some fake thread on there. And 
uh, this device. Oh, let's get rid of any bottom faces. possible that this sits on something else but just in fact I think I'm gonna do that right now okay uh, shifty I'll just break it out for the moment um, faces than I wanted to. But I think I can still get this to work. Uh, scale shift I just wanted I just wanted the flat part here. Like something like this. And then um, I'll join it and that's like make it make it all smaller. Okay, come on, come on. Alright, something like this as the um, as the entrance way for this stuff that might be too small for that much detail you know so I'm, I'm just gonna actually exaggerate it for now so what I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna end on this just to show you uh, this concept here and then on top of that some kind of product delivery system for now for now it I'm gonna do this so it's gonna laugh too hard don't laugh too hard. Um, oops, not too much. Come on. Good enough. Because this is a for now type situation. <laughs> kind of crazy. A little bit small, so I think everything would have to be increased in size in order to make this uh, kind of work. So let me uh, let me get rid of that one for now, and just concentrate on this one. Okay, um, there was the, there's that idea, but there's also the idea of um, let me get rid of those vertices and have it more like um, well more like this. canisters that you would get. Not there. Let's go back. 
here. This one. I'll flip that in a second. That's just a label, it doesn't have to be like that. another color so just to show you I was thinking I could have two or three I missed the label okay I'll just do it this way and that way I can change this one to uh, you know a different kind if we wanted to and these are the chemicals that can be added all right anyways I have more uh, details that I can add. I think for the moment, though, I'm just going to leave it at that and you get a sense of what it looks like. And that is the, the pod so far. All right. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and then we'll come back. We'll put some more details on this and see what kind of fun we can have with it. So for Blender Challenge, home improvement uh, in, the, in the future, I suppose. All right, take care.